What's going on, Collective? I hope everyone is doing wonderful. It's your girl, Miss Moon. Thank you so much for tuning in to Miss Moon's Motivational Tarot, where I'm here to inspire you. I appreciate the likes, the comments, and the shares. Ancestors of our highest good and light. Thank you so much for clearing the energy. Thank you for protecting my throat chakra. Thank you for protecting the collective that is watching. Thank you for the energy of finances and career. Let the messages come through and only the messages that resonate with the collective as above, so below. Let's go. All right, guys. Thank you so much for the likes, the subscribes, my new subscribers. Thank you so much for hitting the notification bell so you could be <clears throat> informed when I upload. I had a, um, a frog in my throat before I started this reading. So that's letting me know that someone's throat chakra could be um, blocked or someone is having a hard time um, expressing or asking for help. That's what I'm hearing. Okay. So what's going on? <clears throat> All right. So let's go ahead and pull out what is going on. With this deck of your money and finance career. Okay, what's going on with your throat chakra when it comes to your money? <clears throat> Ancestors, um, protect my spiritual door. Don't let anything that doesn't belong come through. Only allow what does need to come through and resonate with the collective that is watching. As above, so below. Let's go. Okay, so let's see what's going on. That was choppy. <clears throat> so at the bottom doing it the hard way and that's what I was feeling it's like you refuse to ask for help okay doing things the hard way I hope y'all can see that it says doing things the hard way uh, instead of trying to find an easier way time to work smarter find ways that you can pursue success in a way that won't strain or drain your energy Things that come easier to you will be things you will find most successful in. So, <clears throat> I'm also picking up that somebody could be doing a job or trying to attempt to finish a project that has been overwhelming. That's the universe's way of showing you that this is not for you, okay? Um, maybe you need to lay your burdens down is what spirit is saying and ask for help to complete the project or walk away and find something that's much more in alignment with yourself okay that's for a side note for somebody what messages do you have uh spirit please and thank you for the collective what messages do you have for the collective please and thank you <clears throat> okay so we have a couple of cards. We have imaginary blocks. Okay, so I knew I felt some type of blockage. The fears of being blocked or having money obstacles to face are imaginary. So spirit is saying that a lot of times we fear fear because we see in our now and we think that this is what life is and that's not what it is. It's the ability to speak over whatever blockages you're going through. <clears throat> decide what's real it's time to think of the obstacles that you most fear or the stagnant aspects of your current situation and ask if they are real or imaginary you might be surprised that none of it really exists okay none of it really exists i hope y'all can see that <clears throat> okay so it says imaginary blocks we have legal matters in the reverse, okay? So, <clears throat> my throat is going crazy right now. Hold on. Thank you, Spirit. It says, bad contract or paying debt, divorce, avoiding responsibility, or shady work. So, <clears throat> because it was in the reverse, I feel like it's restoring harmony. So, some type of harmony is being restored with the partnership especially with the skills of being balanced it was in the reverse so this is letting me know maybe this is internal or this could be an outside party that's trying to cause some type of um stagnation in your life okay and you may just be imagining that this person doesn't want to see you succeed 
Why would you think that though? Okay, let's keep going. For your life, honestly, no matter how inconvenient that truth might be, if you choose to proceed with integrity and honesty, you will find yourself on a stable pathway pathway towards success. So with the throat shocker the throat chakra being blocked, because that's what I'm feeling. It was in the reverse. So this is somebody who's avoiding to tell the truth. <clears throat> okay. It's not a legal situation. It's a personal situation. Hmm. Yeah, small dreams. Okay. Not dreaming big enough that can create a high impact, meaningful life. Spirit wants you to dream bigger. And that, that goes hand in hand with imaginary blocks. Are you living mediocre? Are you just doing a nine to five, barely getting by, afraid to step out of the box and explore? Um, there's nothing to be ashamed of. Is there's not, I'm sorry, let me say that again. There's nothing to be ashamed of to have small dreams. But it's what you truly want. Is it what you truly want? To reach higher heights, shift your mindset, and dream a little bit bigger. Just a little bit. You are capable of so much more. So, <clears throat> you don't want no problems. That's why the legal matter is in reverse. You don't want no problems. So, you're avoiding being honest with yourself. That's why I said that internal uh, truth, you're not being honest with yourself internally. Somebody's not speaking the truth, whether it be you, the person you work for, the person you work with. Um, but this is personal. This is not, this is not something that is big and, and, and it doesn't affect a lot of people. If it, if anything, it affects you. Okay. So let's see what this shark is all about. Okay. I got my shark my shark back <laughs> let's see what the shark is all about okay i don't like how this is um going with the let's do this okay i think that's a little bit better okay so <clears throat> I feel like there's an imbalance when it comes to your imagination. You're not being as creative or you're not thinking big. You're thinking small. Okay? I haven't used this back in a minute. Thank you, Spirit. So what, what advice do you want to give the collective from the shark deck? I'm, oh, thank you. That was real easy. Protection. Oh. <laughs> and you got a dolphin. It says set boundaries or swim away from predators. Toxic friendships and relationships. Yes. People that you hang around, people that you're around is causing you to have this imaginary block. Okay, they want you to be stuck in the matrix. They want you to be stuck, small minded. Okay, and spirit is saying that not dreaming big enough that can create a high impact or a meaningful life. Okay, um, you you want something big. You want to do something in a big way. I'm picking up that somebody wants to have a legacy. For their family, like for your children's children's children, okay? You want to take care of your grandparents. You want to you want to be taken care of. You want to live the good life before you leave, okay? You want to be able to make sure that your children's children or your nieces, cousins, uncles, whoever, you want to make sure that the family is taken care of, okay? Okay? Exactly. So Spirit is saying it's your passion, Find your passion. If the decision you are making sparks joy, you are headed in the right direction. So when we saw that person carrying a boulder on their back, there's no passion in carrying a boulder, okay? That's just straight work, hard work. And it's, I'm not saying that you can't, you don't have to put hard work into creating your passion, but when you passionate about something, it doesn't feel like work. It feels, you feel excited each and every time you do it. 
every time I get on here to put a video up, I'm excited to hear the message. I'm excited to see what spirit is going to guide you or me or us, the Moo Tribe family. You understand? I get excited for things like this because it's my passion to help, to encourage, to restore faith, to restore belief, to help you in the right direction. If you if you if you take the the message, okay? It's all about somebody's attitude. Okay, so they're saying be snarky like a sharky with an attitude. Don't give a shit what other people think right now. All right, so you you you're gonna have to be like, ah, like you know, this is my passion. I don't care what you say. <laughs> yeah, I'm so theatrical. <laughs> but that's what the pictures is showing me. It's like you're gonna have to protect your passions. You're going to have to protect them. Okay. In order for you to succeed. And by protecting them, you might have to keep it to yourself and work on things on your own for a little while. But I feel like if you ask your spirit team to help you, they will guide you. Okay? <clears throat> Alright, so let's see. Um, Let's pull some tarot and see what spirit want to say about your money and your career. Okay, you may feel like you have to be very protective of yourself, setting boundaries at work. If you work with people that you just, you know, it's toxic. Okay, it's toxic. And, and your passion is not to blend in. Your passion is to be different, to be extraordinary, to be unique, to stand out on your own. And sometimes people feel threatened by that collective because you are a star seed okay you are a unique individual you're here to create um legacy for others legacy for people to not have to struggle so hard you know what i mean and because you have that attitude the people that you're around they don't have that same vision okay and so you can't really um you can't connect with that energy because it's, there's no law of attraction there. What's being attracted is the negativity. Actually, Spirit is saying law of attraction works on both sides, positive and negative. So if you're around a whole bunch of toxic-ass people, you're going to attract those type of downloads. I don't like this job. I hate being around these people. They get on my goddamn nerves. You know, I, I don't want to go to work. I don't want to deal with this project working with these people because they get on my nerves. They're toxic. You know, when you do, you feel uncomfortable and you don't feel, you don't feel safe. You don't feel like you belong. You don't feel like there's no peace. Okay, and that's a clear sign from the universe that where you are is not where you're supposed to be. It's a stepping stone. Mm. Oh, that came out. What is this? I didn't even really get the shuffle spirit. Yes, look, the lovers. I can't make it up. You got the lovers card. Okay, so you have the lovers. And you have the page of wands in reverse. So the page of wands in reverse is someone who's lost their passion. They're not excited to work with this individual. It's an imbalance. That's why the legal, uh, the the justice balance scale is imbalanced. Okay. Um, and they're, they're wanting you to restore some kind of harmony. Okay. Hmm. That came out like, yup, yeah, this is what it is. It's an imbalance. There's no spark. Thank you, spirit. There's no spark. There's no spark to work with this person. Okay? This could be your employer. We have the death card at the bottom of the deck. So there's definite transition uh, required in order for you to be in alignment. All the horns. All the horns, right? All the horns. Clarify the Gemini card. Gemini. So this could be a Gemini. Clarify the lover's card. Oh my God. Look at this. <clears throat> so Spirit says, I know you are happy. I know you are happy. I know there's no spark. And I hear you asking for help. Ace of Cups. Okay. 
I hear you asking for her. You know what it is? It's this thing. It's just so. What the hell? Oh, my goodness. That was just so rude and disrespectful. Just rude and disrespectful. The nine of swords is here. Okay? So, Spirit is saying that I'm about to hand you something to bring you out of this worry and anxiety. Okay? Wow. You got the Ace of Cups. The Ace of Cups can be a new project, a new partnership. Okay? Somebody feels like they just can't have the right type of people around them. Like you just haven't been able to find the right kind of people that makes you feel balanced with this lover's card. Okay? It was a whole bunch of interruptions just now. Like nasty energy. Look at that. Look at that. And beeping your horn like that is not going to make things better. I hate when people do that when they drive. So the death card is still here. Like I said, spirit is saying you're about to go through a transformation. This is what I'm going to say. A death card doesn't always mean getting fired. The death card can mean you getting on your horse and you waving your flag and you letting go because you know that it's no longer good for you. It's toxic. Okay? And Spirit is saying, I'm handing you another opportunity with this Ace of Cups. Okay? So, you have to decide to have enough faith, to have enough courage, right? To go through this transformation. Clarify, Spirit, the Page of Wands. In reverse. Yeah, look. Remember the boulder we saw? <clears throat> the cards is just coming out. So the boulder is somebody who's having a hard time letting something go. Okay? With the Ten of Wands in reverse. This is someone who's holding too tight. Trying to have control. Holding on for dear life. And Spirit is telling you with the Four of Pentacles, let go. I know you want long-term security. I know that you only have a little bit of money in your savings account. I know your circumstance and your situation. But what I need you to focus on is I need you to be more aware of what I'm handing to you, which is the Ace of Cups. Okay? So, this page of wands is in reverse because you are trying to hold on to something that you have no clue about. Like, you're not interested. There's no spark in the work that you do. That's why they're both in the reverse. There's no spark. Okay? You're not interested. And Spirit is saying with the four of pentacles in the upright, he's holding tight for dear life. But it's time to let go. And that's why we saw the death card. Okay? In order for you to get something balanced, in order, there's, there's, there, thank you, Spirit. Spirit said there is something being faded towards you. Okay? There's, there's a new chapter. It's just coming in a way that you didn't expect with this death card. Okay? So, tell me more about the, the lover's card. Thank you. That fell right on top of dreams. Okay? Small dreams. Boom. You have the queen of wands in reverse. And that's what this is. You don't have the confidence in believing that you have the ability to manifest or to do a job. Like, you don't... Why, why is this queen of wands in reverse with the lover's card? Mm. Everything's in a reverse. Clarify the Queen of Wands in reverse. For the collective, please and thank you. That's a lot. No. I just need one card, Spirit. Clarify the Queen of Wands in reverse with the Lover's card. There's a disharmony. Okay? Yeah. Look at the tool. I can't make it up. 
This is two. This is two. You can see the numbers 2022, 111. I'm also picking that up as well. So it's like you have your heart chakra closed off. You're doing something by yourself. You're doing it alone. Hmm. It's something you don't see. You don't see. It's like you don't see your power. Thank you, Spirit. You don't see your power. Why you don't see your power? And that's why you're nervous. Okay? And anxiety. But you're coming out of it. So let me find out why you don't see your power. Why you don't why doesn't the collective see their power? Thank you. See, look at the sun, yo. I can't make the star. What you don't see is your happiness is on the other side of all this worry. Okay? What you don't see is your happiness on the other side of this worry. All you have to do is have courage. And that's what this card is all about. Having courage, okay? This is also about friendships, affection. Okay, um, a state of intimacy. Okay, so it's like you've never had really good connections with anybody. People don't get you or you're worried that you won't meet that person that's going to help you feel balanced in, you know, the projects that you're pursuing. Hmm. I can't make this shit up. I'm not even trying to find the cards. They just coming out. <laughs> I'm looking for a new love, baby. A new love. <laughs> okay, so this could be your new partnership. This is your new partner in crime. This is your road dog. This is your ride or die. This is your Bonnie and Clyde. That's what I'm hearing. Two of cups on the scene. Crispy clean. All right. So the sun card is here with the nine of swords in reverse telling me that there's healing. But you're not listening to your intuition. You're not paying attention to your dreams. Hmm. So the, the high priestess card in reverse says, you know, passion, morals, or phys physical um, adore. So maybe, huh, it's like you only see, you don't see beyond the surface. Why? What is, what is this? This is picking up like low self-esteem, but like. Hmm. This new love or new partner is definitely wealthy, stable, secure, a loyal person. Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. Hmm. Huh. Tell me more, Sarah. Tell me more for the collective that is watching that resonates with this. Oh, that's too much. But we're going to take it. <laughs> we gonna take it okay we gonna take it so i have all these darren cards right here this is the whole book so what spirit is saying is that they're handing you somebody needs to be more positive you need to see it's like you need to lift your vibrations okay um the high priestess is very silent because she has a lot of wisdom so in the reverse, you could be keeping things to yourself with this anxiety, but you're only you're only focused on the 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 surface of things. You're not seeing the deep you're not seeing the big picture. Okay? And so spirit is saying that when you get this ace of cups, it's going to make you very happy. But it will require change, okay? So the chariot and the nine of pentacles is in reverse. Look at this, all right? So the nine of pentacles in reverse is somebody who is avoiding 
or they're not having enough faith in themselves because the the nine of pentacles is someone who's single right you feel like it could be financial you could feel like you can't do something because you're not financially stable but notice how we had the king of pentacles i can't find him now he's somewhere in the deck but we had the king of pentacles at the bottom of the deck and then the chariot is about you know some type of dispute okay so you could feel defeated within yourself like i don't have enough financial stability to pursue my passions miss moo why are you talking to me like this because i don't see a way and spirit is saying i'm helping you if you would only believe and have faith okay um and so with this Knight of Swords, I feel like it's coming in very swiftly. A message of good news, a new opportunity, okay? And Spirit is saying that you need to take time to rest because the Four of Swords is in the reverse. This is the Four of Swords, right? And this is someone... Um, Oh, it's like you're going to speak a testimony. This is what I'm hearing. Spirit is saying that it's going to happen so fast that you're going to have a testimony. What? Huh. It's like the answers is going to come to you. Thank you, Spirit. The answers is going to come to you very swiftly. So you need to be open to receive some type of message that spirit wants to advise you on when it comes to this Ace of Cups and the Nine of Cups. Because right now, you are causing your blockage. You're not believing in your dreams or you're not dreaming big enough. You're not seeing yourself be successful is what I'm hearing. Okay? All right. So, let me get a different... Yeah, see... So something about patience, temperance, okay? So this is, you know, this could be your belief, your faith needs to be balanced out. Have faith in your spirit team. That's what they're telling me. Yeah, you got the eight of wands and the knight of cups. I can't make it up. Mm. Okay, so... You know, it's like, it's coming in, but you have to, it's coming in swiftly too. This is what I'm hearing. Yeah, the Ten of Cups in reverse is like broken dreams, not having enough faith in your dreams. So you're like avoiding some type of ending because you're afraid that you're not going to, you're not going to be successful. Why? Let me pull out some um, Oracle cards, Okay. As soon as I open the box, the first thing that comes out is freedom. Look at your ancestors. That's a feather. That's your ancestors. You need to have more flexibility with your schedule and income. Being self-employed is ideal. Time off will help you get clear. So remember when we saw the four of swords, right? needing to take a break so spirit is saying it's time for you to take some type of short vacation it doesn't even if you can't take time off from work if you could take a weekend to yourself and spend some time in solitude the messages that you seek the answers that you're looking for the clarity will come in and it's going to be a form of a testimony that's what i'm hearing okay so this is a test of your faith this is like do you believe do you believe in your spiritual team that they got you? If you end something that's already making you unhappy, I can't make it up. You got guidance right here. Okay? So, it's um, I'm going to read this for y'all. And you got direction. I can't make this up. I can't. Spirit is not letting me. All right? And we have endings. I can't make this up. Lord have mercy. They bringing out the cards quicker than I have time to read them. And that's how I feel your messages is going to come in to make this move, okay? Divine forces are showing you the way to go. You are discovering another piece of your destiny as your purpose in life. So you need to be in alignment with your purpose and your passion. That's what Spirit is telling me. Your passion produce your passion, okay, 
your purpose spirit your purpose produces your passion no your passion produces your purpose thank you okay and then you have direction okay so this is all about being guided your purpose look we got purpose and we have passion your purpose is unfolding slowly step by step as you go along there's no need to hurry or worry you are being divinely guided so spirit is about to take you on a trip <laughs> <laughs> okay, this could be a spiritual trip. This could be a trip in your dream world because we have small dreams here. Or this could be an actual physical trip. And then we had endings, okay, are unfolding. Look, I can't make this up. All about divine timing. Fast changes. Everything brings success. Lord have mercy. Okay, long-term commitment yo all your cards and i'm gonna read every last one of them and i'm gonna close this out because if they give me one more goddamn card we're gonna be here for another 40 minutes and i'm not trying to do that <laughs> i'm not okay so let's read it exactly how it's like a book i'm telling you it's like a book mm -hmm, mm -hmm. okay so we have endings Okay, it says you you may leave a position or be terminated. Didn't yo? I can't thank you, Spirit, for coming through. I don't never speak termination over anybody's life, but if something ain't for you, it ain't for you. If it's if it's killing you, cut it out. That's what Spirit is saying. If it's killing you, cut it out because you are on the path to uh, to your passions. That's going to produce your purpose. Y'all be giving me all kind of sayings, y'all. Hold on one second, Collective. Lord, have mercy. Spirit said, if it hurts, cut it out. In order for you to pursue your passion to your purpose. Don't laugh at my handwriting. If it if it hurts, cut it out in order for you to pursue passion to your purpose. Okay? Because it's hurting you. <laughs> three, three, three on the clock right now. Okay. So spirit is saying that, um, like I said, however, there's a new, there, there is always a new opportunity ahead. You may change careers entirely. See? Okay. It says unfolding access to greater prosperity is opening up for you slowly. That's why we saw the temperance card. Where's temperance? Right <laughs> Excuse me, right here. The thing is, it's come, it's opening up slowly, but then once once you get on that path, it take off. Pew. Okay, it takes off, and you start to pursue your passion. Look at the Knight of Cups is not always about a love offer. The Knight of Cups can also be you pursuing your passion, and when when you see this taking off, it's going to make you very happy. Right? Because now you're filling your own cup. Now you're holding your own cup. Now you're in control of your own happiness. And you're going towards the unknown. Okay? With your cup. Which leads you to your ten of cups. Okay? Your wish. Right? Your completion. Your life purpose. Success. I can't make this up. Because you are in control of your happiness. Look at that. Come on, collective. I'm not making this up. Okay? So, Spirit is saying you are growing as you learn more. Keep expanding. Okay? Let's keep going. Who child? This reading is good, though. <laughs> Let me know in the comments if you resonate with this. Timing. It's all in the timing right now. Pull another card to see if you need to do it now. Wait a while or make a different decision. So, Spirit, does the color... I already got the cards because they all came out back to back. But according to this timing card, I'm asking Spirit, should you do it now? Should you wait a while? Or should 
uh, or will this make a difference? Okay. So according to spirit, fast changes, do it now. You will be leaving a job. Look, I can't make this up. You will be leaving. You, I told you, you're going to take control and get on your horse with the death card. And you're going to wave that flag and say, I quit. That's what I'm hearing. I quit. Okay. If it's hurting you, cut it out. You'll be leaving a job suddenly or getting one very quickly. So some of you are going to just quit and trust spirit because you already got things working. You just been in an imbalance. Because things haven't been taken off quickly, but you got stuff sitting there. And Spirit is saying, you're going to know what to do, okay? Others of you, you're going to keep the job for a little while longer, patiently allowing things to change because you're being guided. So I advise everyone who's watching this video to ask your spirit team, to ask your higher power, to ask your higher self, however, or whoever you serve or what you do to get clarity, and go according to your intuition, okay? Listen to yourself. But the, the cards is not lying. They all add up, okay? So they're saying you will be leaving a job suddenly or getting one very quickly. So for others of you, you found something else or you had your eye on something else, but you haven't taken the chance to apply or you haven't taken the chance to follow up because you don't feel you're confident enough confident enough to get it this could also be a promotion within the company maybe your boss told you you know you don't qualify but you know if you work in that department you will be so much happier you know just take it how it how it resonates it says dramatic um changes i'm sorry let me read again or your work may change dramatically in a short time go with the flow okay so how things flow is how you how you'll know which way to go. That's what I'm hearing. How things flow is how you'll know which way to go. Okay? But you have success. Like you're destined for success and I feel like that's that quick message that spirit is going to reveal to you that this is where you're supposed to be. Okay? Because the four of swords in reverse is about you know, a testament, right? A wise administration. So it's like, you already got the answers, okay? They come, the answers is waiting for you. Success is waiting for you. They just waiting, they just waiting for Devon Tommen just to show you, for you to see, for you to wake up and see what it is, okay? So the path you are on will bring your success and prosperity if you just keep going. Lots of little steps take you a long way. You're on the right track. So whatever that dream, whatever, whatever creative uh, downloads you're getting, it's all it's all part of where you're supposed to be. You may have been going back and forth about whether or not it's the right path. It is the right path, okay? Success is here for you, baby boy, baby girl. Long-term success, a contract, okay? A proposal, an opportunity could turn into a long-term career move or, or you will be asked to commit to a position in exchange for more money, Come through spirit. This could be freelance. This could be a contract to work for yourself. I don't know your story. You know your story better than I do. But what I do know is that spirit is letting you know, again, you're going to have financial freedom. You're going to have more freedom to do the things that you want to do in life and not be overwhelmed with showing up on time, eating lunch at a certain time, using a bathroom at a certain time. When you need a sick day, you got to get approval. Like, who's doing that anymore? Like, you're grown adults and you got to ask another adult if it's okay for you to miss work. And I'm not knocking anybody who do it, but not, it's not for everybody. It's not. Okay, you want the rewards, you want the money and the freedom, financial freedom. Didn't I say that? You're cashing in on all the good work you've done. That's why I said for those of you who already had things set up, but you wasn't sure, things is about to take a turn for the better for you. Okay, and spirit is saying that you are going to either get raises, bonuses, and prosperity. So either raises 
or bonuses, but and prosperity are coming in. Keep going and keep growing. Keep doing what it is that you've been doing because you're about to get a whole, this message should renew your faith right now, right now, right now. Okay. <laughs> Spirit is saying you need to take time to recharge your energy to get back on track. Challenges ahead require you to have faith and breakthroughs. I can't make this up. And that's what I told you, love bugs. That's what I told y'all with this right here. Spirit is saying it's, this should not be in a... You need this. You need to be in a relaxed state for you to get the messages. Okay? So, take that little mini vacation Take the weekend to recharge, to get renewed, because spirit is saying that if you don't, it's going to be a whole lot of drama going on on this ship, okay? Spirit is letting you know, and it's still going, I'm going to tell you this right now, the drama may come, but you're still going to get the offering. You're still going to get a new position or an investment opportunity, okay? But you may not have the confidence to make a clear decision because you're doing things out of desperation. Why do that when you could just recharge, get the clarity that you need, okay? And you get the answers so you're prepared. I'd rather be prepared than to do things out of desperation, okay? Because you want to make sure you're doing the right thing. Anyways, I hope y'all enjoyed this reading. This was beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I enjoyed it 100%. And I hope that, you know, you guys actually make the right decision that makes you happy. Leave in the comments and let me know what this new opportunity is that is bestowed upon you. Um, Spirit is saying some of you three days, three weeks, three months. Thank you, Spirit. Let me know, okay? Because I want to congratulate you. I'm congratulating you now in advance. That's how strong my faith is for you. Because I love to see my peoples, my cousins, you know, my allies. That's how I look at y'all. My supporters, okay? My babies, my honey buns, okay? I love to see y'all win. That's why I do what I do. That's why I get passionate for messages as the one you've heard today. Keep looking out for some more because they're coming through. Until next time, deuces. Bye, boo.